for a multi-product firm. On exercise 434, they tell us that our Texas tea company sells three different types of products. They sell portable grills, stationary grills, and smokers. In part one, they want us to calculate the sales mix for our portable grills, our stationary grills, and our smokers. We need to know how many of each we plan to sell in respect to one another. The best way and the easiest way to do this is always to look at which product we sell the least of. So in this case, we only sell 5,000 smokers compared to 20,000 portable grills and 50,000 stationary grills. So using our lowest amount, the 5,000, we divide that into each of our other two products. So, for example, 5,000 smokers goes into 20,000 portable grills, four times, and 5,000 smokers goes into 50,000 stationary grills, 10 times. Therefore, our sales mix is 4 to 10 to 1 meaning that for every one smoker we sell, we plan to sell approximately four portable grills and 10 stationary grills. That's what we need in order to complete our next pieces of this assignment. We now have our sales mix, again, four to 10 to one. We now need to figure out what our contribution margin is per unit multiplied by our sales mix in order to calculate what we call a packaged contribution margin. They give us our beginning information. They give us our sales price for each one of our types of grills, and they give us our variable cost for each. Calculating contribution margin, we're going to do the same as we've done throughout the chapter, where we take our sales price minus our variable cost in order to calculate our contribution margin. So our contribution margin for the portable grill is $45. For the stationary grill is $70 per unit. And for our smoker, it's 110. However, we don't plan to sell an equal amount of each one of these grills. Therefore, we need to multiply our contribution margin per unit by our sales mix that we determined in part one. We know that we plan to sell four times as many portable grills as smokers and 10 times as many stationary grills as smokers. We take our contribution margin multiplied by our sales mix and that will calculate for us what we consider a packaged contribution margin. So in total, since we sell more than one product, we have a packaged contribution margin of $990. We now need to figure out how many packages we need to sell to break even, and based on that amount, how many units for each type of grill we need to sell to break even. So to calculate our break even in packages, again, this is in packages, not units. We take our total fixed cost, which they tell us is 2,128,500, and we divide it by our packaged contribution margin of $990. That tells us that in order for our business that sells three different types of products to break even, we need to sell 2,150 packages. What a package would contain is one smoker, 10 stationary grills, and four portable grills. We can now calculate how many of each grill we need to sell to break even. We need to look at our sales mix and multiply by how many packages we have. So to break even for our portable grill, we know our sales mix is four and that there's going to be 2,150 packages. Therefore, we have to sell 8,600 portable grills.
for break even in stationary grills. Pen is our sales mix. We plan to have to sell 2,150 packages. Therefore, we'd have to sell 21,500 stationary grills. And finally, for our smokers, we know that in each package, we only plan to have one smoker. So therefore, we'd have to sell 2,150 smokers. We can now use that information to calculate our income statement for the coming year. And again, we are doing a contribution margin income statement, which takes our total sales minus our total variable costs get a contribution margin, and then we subtract our total fixed cost. So for the coming year, based on the information above that we have, we multiply each one of our units by their respective selling price. Remember, each one is sold at a different price, and each one has a different variable cost per unit. So we get our total sales of $13,050,000. We calculate that our total variable costs are $8.1 which gives us a contribution margin of $4,950,000. Total fixed costs, as they told us in the problem, was $2,128,500. We subtract that away from our contribution margin and it gives us a total operating income of $2,821,500. To calculate our total sales, remember, we're looking at what the company is anticipating on selling. So they tell us that they plan to sell 20,000 portable grills at a selling price of $90 a piece. They tell us that they also plan to sell 50,000 stationary grills at a selling price of $200 a piece. And we know that they plan to sell 5,000 smokers. And each smoker they're planning to sell for $250 a piece. That gets us our total sales revenue of $13,050,000. The same goes for calculating our total variable cost. We would take our portable grills multiplied by their variable rate plus the stationary grills multiplied by their corresponding variable rate as well as the smokers. They then ask us to calculate the contribution margin ratio, our break even in sales dollars, and our margin is safe based. So our contribution margin ratio is what our contribution margin is at the expected sales amount into how much total revenue we have, which gets us a 37.93% contribution margin ratio when we round which means that for every dollar that we do in sales, we have approximately 38 cents per dollar going to contribution margin. We know we can calculate break even in revenue by simply taking our total fixed cost and dividing it by that contribution margin ratio. So we would need to sell approximately $5,611 In order to calculate break-even revenue, we can simply take our total fixed cost and divide it by our contribution margin ratio. In order to break even, we would need to generate sales revenue worth $5,611,653. Again, that number is rounded. The last piece of this question asks us to calculate our margin of safety. Think of your margin of safety like a safety net. We want to have a big distance between how much we anticipate doing in revenue 
and where we have to have revenue in order to break even. So in this coming year, we have calculated that we need to we are going to generate $13,050,000 in revenue. For our company to break even, meaning that our sales cover only our fixed and variable expenses, would be at $5,611,653. Therefore, our margin of safety for this year is $7,438,347. Meaning that even if our sales drop $5 million, we would still be above our break-even point and be earning a profit. So the bigger the margin of safety, the better.